Life is a delicate thing, Guardian. Hope, faith, love. In an instant, they're gone. Everything you've sworn to protect is lost. And all you're left with is silence and shadow, and the knowledge that you should have done more. Could we have defeated Gaul if the Traveler hadn't awakened? And what of the next threat? Or the next? What then? The Traveler is awake, and the Age of Legends is upon us. In the shadow of the light, our universe is a beautiful, terrible place. Where I once saw miracles, now I see monsters. Someone has to. We have to. That's what a guardian does. Guardians aren't supposed to investigate their past. That's the rule. But I'm not good with rules. Not when there's this much at stake. The Clovis Bray tech in that building allowed us to colonize the system during the Golden Age. We, they, sought to create peace for all humanity. Which is ironic, because they also built Rasputin the single most powerful weapon in the solar system. Either way, it's all been entombed on Mars since the collapse, along with something far more terrifying. Mars, the first place where humanity encountered the Traveler, home to the Clovis Bray Research Facility and lost wonders of the Golden Age. The ice caps have kept those wonders hidden for hundreds of years. But the return of the Traveler's light has sounded an alarm heard throughout the system and perhaps beyond. Red War is over, but Gaul's forces, what remains of them, have been scavenging during their retreat. And now that Warsats are falling out of orbit near Mars, the Cabal are headed there too. I'll plot a landing course. That's the private Vanguard channel. Mayday, do you copy? <clears throat> Vanguard access code 030. Get away from my ghost, you frozen. Guardian 
requesting backup. I repeat, I need backup down here. This frequency is reserved for official Vanguard business. So look, whoever this is... That's cute. You've got one of the uptight ghosts. Uptight? I'm uploading coordinates to a safe landing zone. Please hurry. All right, but you're going to owe us for this one. I wouldn't have called you down here unless it was absolutely critical. The most dangerous weapon in this system is on this planet, and an entire army of Hive is trying to destroy it. I need your help. We've touched down on the surface of Mars, Guardian. What's your status? Are you safe? For now. But there's a whole lot of not safe between us and the Clovis Spray facility, which is where we need to be. What's so important there? Warsats, like the one that almost hit you on approach, have been dropping out of the sky since I got here. Which usually means only one thing. Rasputin? The greatest weapon of the Golden Age you were talking about. But that's impossible. Nothing is impossible where Rasputin is concerned. Meet me at the facility. never seen Hive like this before. As far as I know, they don't exist anywhere but here. There's no reason for this satellite to have fallen from orbit. Something pulled it down. 
I think it might be time to call in help from the Vanguard. Not a great idea. Savala won't be happy about us digging around Bray. He wants the past to stay buried. But we need to get in there to find out what's going on with Rasputin. What was that? Guardian, you still with me? We're clear. Where to next? We found a Golden Age research facility buried inside a glacier. Where do you think? Meet me at the entrance to Clovis Bray. You made it. Actually, yes. We did. Well, there were a lot of them. But you did great. Come on. Let's see what's hiding in here. Besides hordes and hordes of frozen hive, I mean.
You two clear a path while I try to find a way into Clovis Bray. We've encountered war mines before, but Ikora said Rasputin was trapped on Earth. Rasputin is capable of operating across multiple systems simultaneously. So all those times the Vanguard was trying to talk to him in the Cosmodrome. They were engaging fragments of Rasputin left behind after the collapse. But his core mind was always here. I'm here. I'm really here. I can't believe it. Clovis Bray. I'm home. The main access is encrypted. Good thing I know a few tricks. At least that seems to run in the family. Personnel identified Dr. Anastasia Bray. Welcome to the Clovis Bray Research Facility, the fabled cradle of invention on Mars. You are part of an important moment in history. Together, we will strive to reach beyond the stars. Remember, you are Clovis Bray. And we're in business. Looks like Rasputin's core is housed in a separate structure. Hope you're up for a little exploring. This facility is massive. The Brays dream big. I don't know much about my family, but I know that. I'm picking up a lot of hive activity. They're swarming the core. On it. Let me try to access the security systems.
What's the status on the security systems? I'm working on it. Hang in there. Big problem. Come on, Rasputin. Give me something here. It's the Valkyrie. Rasputin's weapon. I think he hurt us. The door's unlocked. Did you? It wasn't me. Maybe he's inviting us inside. Maybe this is where questions finally turn into answers. Hello, Guardian. Oh, Shanks. What do you think you're doing? Do you have any idea how dangerous this thing is? What were you trying to do to Rasputin? Rasputin is Vanguard business, Anastasia, not yours. You do not belong here. I beg your pardon? You belong to the city. But instead of standing by your brothers and sisters when Gaul came for us, you were here. Doing what you always do. What you were never supposed to do. I did what I believed to be right. I came here to protect humanity. Isn't that what Guardians are supposed to do? This is a war of many fronts. And there's more than one way to fight it, Zavala. Look. You try to shield the entire world. But you can't. There's got to be a better way. And do you think Rasputin is the answer? It's gone silent. It's a broken weapon. Too dangerous to be left alone and too unpredictable to wield. That might be true. Or maybe he has nothing to say. Maybe, just maybe, we never bothered to ask him what he wanted. I don't have time to go through this with you again. You had no right. I have every right. You don't understand the connection I share with Rasputin. Here, let me show you. Okay. We should really figure out exactly what's doing that. I can tell you. Rasputin was not the only thing to awaken on Mars. 